Hello everyone, my name is Raging Raptor and welcome you to my first impression of the T77, the format where we are going to play two or three games depending on how long they take and I give you a quick first impression of a tank after having like played two to six games in it. Now, I already played two games in the T77, um, they were for the German and a channel and they were fairly good. 4000 average damage, we had one with 2000 800 another one with 5300 however this is not of our concern right now as we are going to focus on our own games i'm also going to change this one up right here because i want to show you two different builds at least um, what i've seen around and what i've heard from other people around but before that i want to give a quick little introduction into the t77 in general now this tank it was changed from a medium tank to a heavy tank to most likely just appeal more to the broader audience which wants to buy a premium tank which suits the t57 heavy um, gameplay and i have to say that is very on the spot it really does feel like a small a tier 8 t70 a t55 a t57 heavy tank there are a lot of tanks with t's and fives in there sorry <laughs> It also does feel like like the T-54E1 and it kind of gives me a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth that this tank would have been a great substitute for the T-69 and it makes me hope for um, maybe a small buff of the T-69 because this thing would have been perfect for the tree actually. But then again, it does feel like a good premium tank as well if Wargaming is deciding to buff the T-69 as well. Now... As a crew trainer, there's nothing to talk about. It's perfect for the T-57. Your commander is um, also radio operator, your gunner is gunner, your driver is driver, and your uh, loader is loading. And it's my T-57 heavy crew, which is actually not that good, even though I have this tank for so long. But it is very good in general, like it, it works very well as a crew trainer. Now, I'm not playing this tank with optics as I usually would, because in the end, this tank suffers poor badly from very bad gun handling like it is worse than what the t54 e1 has and um, the t54 e1 even is a tank which after buff feels comfortable to play more comfortable to play than before because now you know you're not the fastest boy around but you have a very potent gun again 390 damage four shots being unloaded in 6.66 seconds which is very quick for this bad boy over here we have three rounds 360 alpha in four seconds being unloaded if you are at close combat because otherwise you need to factor in your aim time which is fairly lengthy you can see with my current setup of with 2.3 seconds <coughs> so yeah i also want to quickly just show you so you know what i mean here we are comparing it to the t54 e1 and um, not only do we lose <laughs> a significant amount of dpm as you can see is 720 we are also obviously losing quite a bit of accuracy on the move to 0 0.24 versus 0 0.2 and 0 0.14 versus 0 0.1. We do have a slightly faster aim time and we have a quicker interclip reload time. You can see this is our clip potential, 1880. Obviously the other guy has a little bit more in less seconds. However, the reload time is fairly lengthy. So I was asking myself, I guess that's why I'm going to play with Wentz. We're going to do two things um, today. We're going to play one game with Wentz minimum and another game with um, improved, config not improved configurations, the hardening, which gives us 10% more hit points, boosting our hit points from 1450 to 1600. And this is from coming from the Phil X, the German community manager, which is a little bit or played a little bit more of the T77 already. And he thinks it's a very, he already tested uh, the turbocharger, he tested Wentz and he tested the HP module. And he has to say the HP model just helped him most a quick look at the armor model i also have to say you it's literally a t57 through and throughout it can bounce shots it can bounce quite surprisingly but you should never rely on it okay because the armor is just trollish at best against low tier opponents i'm pretty confident you can stay in front of tier sixes and it will have troubles penetrating you against same tier opponents eh, not that good of an idea the good thing is it has 76mm 70, of side armor, so potentially you can side scrape, but then again it is susceptible to artillery fire, 25mm, 50 in, um, on the back here and 25 on the roof, so you can even get penetrated on the roof quite easily. 
One last thing I really do like about this tank is that it is a 120mm gun. Why is that great? Not only is the standard round an APCR, which usually leads to quite a fast shell velocity, giving you a pretty decent time on sniping. This other thing is it has 299mm of heat penetration, which is more than enough to overpen stuff like the Stritzwagen 103, the Stritzwagen 103B, even in the lower plate with the heat screen, you have no issues whatsoever. And a good base pen of 232, which is surprisingly good for a uh, autoloader, I take it. Now, um, the Wentz do give this tank um, Oh, roughly a one second fast reload time then um, or 0 0.8 um, almost one second as you can see over not having went and obviously gives us other stuff as well I also again I decided to use no optics 380 meters of free range base is not that good but you can boost it to 445 but this tank is best suited in close range combat where you are a supporter you have a very lengthy reload time that is bad you have a very bad reverse speed you have a pretty decent forward speed, not gonna lie, that's great. But your reverse speed is very, very bad. It's 12 kph. That's why also some people advocate to getting the turbocharger, as it just makes this not being that big of an issue. It's kind of interesting that the last few tanks that got released, at least the um, SIS 52 LIS and this one right here, have very bad um, reverse speed, um, which makes it kind of tough to play properly. And the CS50, uh, 63 obviously. Now, in this matchup, we are going to do what a supporter sup clipper tank does best. We're going into the city and see where we can do some clipping hypeness. I won't be going onto the field, even though with 8 degrees of gun impression, we can do stuff. Th this tank, again, this tank performs best when you are able to come around a corner at a very, very close um, angle. And start pummeling the enemies. I do hope that a lot more people are coming into the city. Like yes, the Kanawan is well on the um, on the um, on the open field as well. But um, yeah, mm. okay. At least you have a defender. Let's see what we can do. Look, we, we can't um, we can't influence our team. We can't influence our team. We can just do the best we can. And that's just something I think I just have to start learning that everybody is uh, susceptible to the same fucking RNG. Um, yeah, we do our best. Damn, Toxic Gamer, he's probably going to be raging right now that he already lost all, all, all of his HP. Also, you can hear, or rather you can't hear the bug which is right now present in the game. We don't have any um, motor sounds, which is a little bit of unfortunate, but we can't do about that. Everybody's again having this issue right now. Oh. Ah, nay, he did spot me. Now you can see the very, very poor reverse speed. Tooker, tooker, tooker. 11 to 12 kph. That's very, very poorly. Um, hmm. Now it's the question, what should we do? Because if you are entering a lengthy reload right now, the question is if the 53 TP is stupid and just crossing, I... Ah, uh, I think he's side scraping here because he can't he spot me because of those bushes. So I stay here, not moving, because T Rexes can't see you if you move. Uh, can't see you if, if you don't move. And hope he's either crossing or is. But actually, I. Th nah, I, I'm going back into cover. Uh, literally at that freaking point, he's coming. But I'm very scared of the other T50, T77, to be honest, and we're just going to enter immediately into another reload. Because the T77 could do the same thing I just did, and um, use this bush and just shoot at me without getting spotted, and he can deal 1000 damage, which is a little bit too much, which I want to um, take right now. Again, we have a lengthy reverse speed, or a slow reverse speed, not a lengthy one. That was a little bit of weirdness. And let's hope the lobby can shoot at us. And now we're a little bit actually in a bad composition because we're still reloading, even though people are starting dying left and right. Ah. Can't do much right now, right here. Actually, we are losing our base, it looks like. Actually, tr hello, buddy. Let me just quickly go like this and I... I guess I'm making my way back to our base because um, I'm a little bit concerned we're losing that. I didn't do that much into the city, mm, but what can we do at this point into the game? Now it's the question, where is the best position where I should position myself? And the question is if they can make it or not in the city. They're okay, the 53 TP is almost dead, that is good. Ah, ah, there we go! We finally have an engine sound again, nice. We are not electric vehicles anymore. 
Ah, unfortunate. Nice. Good, we got him. That was very important, to be honest. Even though we wasted one shot, sadly. And But um, I take it, to be honest. I now have to get into cover right here and start to try and abuse my 8 degrees of gun depression without bleeding too much HP from some snipers. Uh, one second. Yeah. Ja, ich bin jetzt in der Aufnahme, also kommen wir gerade. Ja, ja, ist gut. Bis nachher. That was the call for dinner, and this means I'm going to have a quick cut. Oh my god. What a bad shot, sadly. Ah, no! Now the gun is throwing me. I have to pull back. I have to pull back because obviously bad reverse speed and stuff like that, and they are pushing in. That was a very bad clip. Um, that was just RNG being not in our favor. We're going to hide behind this house. And I should probably not destroy it because I'm a, I'm a stupid, very stupid raptor, you know. Peanut brain and stuff. And we'll see what we can do from a little bit distance. Again, this tank doesn't really perform well in distance. You saw the lengthy aim time. And all well, the accuracy is not that good either. Come on, reload. Mm. That's too risky. Mm. Mm. Oh, by the way, you heard some Swiss German there. <laughs> huh? Ah, oh, now he's scary. Nice. That was actually a very risky shot, to be honest. Um, because I wasn't fully aimed in anything. Oh, uh, no. He probably spotted me as well. I'm just a little bit concerned of the SDG. He can burn me and... Uh, you see, I don't have any um, uh, f uh, fire extinguisher right now. Because, again, f um, outloaders, you do want to focus on getting the maximum out of your tank. Um, but I think this game is in the bag. I'm not sure, but I do think it is in the bag. I might actually consider just YOLO the STA too get the maximum out of it. 8 degrees of gun depression, obviously comfortable. You can work with that very well. Mm, that's nice. So, um, hmm. oh, we got spotted. It's, I think it was the canal which spotted us. The question is, I do have to stay a little bit away. And the question is, the STA2 did run away. Okay, tried to run away. Ah, yeah, yeah. The good thing is we actually have a very quick, um, what's it called? We still might actually lose this, guys. So I might actually lose this because the lobby is doing, I think, a great sniping job back there. Plus there's still artillery around. And I have to keep in mind that I now have to load the next um, clip as heat rounds because, as you can see, we only have um, five rounds left. I actually didn't saw that this guy was flipped. My bad. I actually didn't saw. I didn't even know where he flipped, to be honest. Oh, that was a very bad move by the SDG, to be honest. Yep. Mm, yeah, was to be expected, it's still there. Yep, the, the move what the SDG is doing right there is very, very bad, to be honest. Um, where are you at, mate? Ah, you are all the way down there. He's there. Just going to do another clip and see what we can do. Yeah, another game, 2,900 damage. I take it. I honestly take it. I do definitely take it. And in this game, obviously, Wentz was a lot better because we still have so many HP left that doesn't really matter what we are doing with them. Um, bam, 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 bam. And obviously, I have a little bit more fear range, a little bit more camo, everything, you know. I take that if you imagine, we um, we didn't really... We had a lot of bad shots, you know. We at least uh, missed 600 or 700 worth of damage, minimum, maybe even 1000. And yet we are still comfortably 3k damage into this game, which is very good, actually. Mm, 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 mm. He's around there still. Oh, never mind, he, he, he pulled back. <laughs> Why am I snapshotting? Very simple, my friends. Very simple. Um, I'm scared that the defender is getting the kill.
Me ne valori de Chirant. Pepo Love. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Still reloading. What a nice dude, man. The, 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 like, honestly, I, I want to see that more often, to be honest. People helping people, that's nice. I hope Dart is down there and it's not over there, but who knows. I'm guessing it's a slow artillery piece, so... Um, nah, he's not down there. Oh, he's back there, then. Sixty millimeters of penetration actually under underestimated the AG. That's actually very good. I do think he's back here, right? Yeah, I think there's uh, something missing. Hmm. Ah, well, he's there. Bam! Pog! Thanks, mate. Very nice of him. Like honestly, wow! Team play in World of Tanks. Nice people in World of Tanks. Oh my goodness gracious! How 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 fortunate am I to this to happen? Wow. <laughs> Honestly, that's nice. That's 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 very nice. I I enjoy that one. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. He's going to get a nice little message afterwards. Another ice tanker. I take it. Oh, we even got level two sharp sword. We are sharpening our skills quite literally, I guess, because we got now the this thing right here. Yeah, I did. He had a anonymizer. Uh, this guy? No, he didn't. Ah, so kind of him, honestly. Thank. <laughs> and a shout out obviously to da David fuck my life uh, 3309 obviously super kind of him for um, giving me the, the, the top gun right there obviously we did do quite a little bit um, the Kanaman also did a very good job obviously with just one artillery he can go around doing a lot of stuff I guess for one of those Burask was very unfortunate as he he flipped himself what I've heard or I think it was I don't know who it was but someone flipped himself so that was obviously very unlucky for them but great first game boys great great first game also you might obviously want to see how much we did now obviously it was a carry game so we shouldn't have done a little bit 92,000 plus without any boosters on that is fairly good actually um, but the rounds are fairly expensive I personally would say Nine, eh, 1,000, that's okay, I guess. The premium rounds are fairly expensive, 4,800 per round. And um, without further ado, you're going into um, 4,000, uh, what is it, 15,000 minus 600, 14,400 um, credits. You're going to blast away with just a single clip if you are obviously um, um, using a gold clip. Now, um, we're going to do another game and we're going to do that after my um, eating break. So you will have a cut, even though I want to do this all the time on one go, but I can't. <laughs> so yeah, we're also going to change our vents to um, HP module and see how that goes. So you also see the difference in gun handling and stuff like that. Well, Fett, we are back from my little break. And again, nothing happened, nothing changed. Just the time went on work quite a bit because again, eating dinner. And now we are going to do uh, what I said before, we're going to use improved hardening and see how it goes and obviously we can use those magnificent and absolutely amazing um, demounting kits which are so much worth and totally not just what 10 gold which is actually fucking useless <laughs> anyway now let's just jump right into a game we do have a credit booster going meaning that um the results will be a little bit skewed, um, the net profit, uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, obviously, in those very, very quick rounds or this um, first impression type of videos, uh, we got a little bit of a problem. We sometimes lack diversity. So, for example, in this game or the last four games we had were always tier 8 or tier 8 and 7 games. So we had now three tier 8 only games, which is great. Again, it's just great to have same tier matchmaking. And we had one tier 7 game, which was for the German channel, the first one, to be precise. And the problem is, however, that it doesn't really show the proper um, usage of the tank when it's, for example, in a high tier game. Like, how does it play in a tier 9? How it does it play in a tier 10 game even? Is the penetration still sufficient, especially 232 base pen? Or is the premium pen sufficient? Well, I guess with 300 millimeters almost, that should be enough. But, um, yeah. Like, what, since when is this house destroyed? 
But yeah, I can see actually this tank is fairly um, a speedy boy when it comes to go downhill. I actually don't really know what I'm supposed to do. I can't really go over here because we can't really play hold down. Well, we do can play hold down with eight degrees of gun depression, but that's not really what I like to try out with this thing. And again, we are missing, um, what's it called, um, our nice um, sounds. And we got even spotted. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Oh, wow, dude. You spotted me? That is unfortunate for us. That is very unfortunate because we gave him literally free damage. And um, I don't even know what spotted me, to be honest. If it was him, it was something else. That is very bad. I guess I should have just gone down here and... Anyway, my usual uh, position. Ah, darn it. Um, whatever. Now we know we have to be very, very careful about this. Ah. Hmm. We are not getting our revenge, sadly. Partial revenge, I guess. Now he's already in cover. So we'll see what we can do. This guy, nice. The good thing is, obviously, APCR, it's very good for sniping. It's very quick and it's decently quick, I would say. Yeah, 1,143 meters per second. It's not cis levels of speed, but it's fairly good. Yeah, I should probably have gone here at the beginning of the game in general. Mm. Unlucky, and we sadly couldn't give a full revenge, just a small one. But I, uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's see if there are... Oh, we have to watch out though. That we're not pushing in too much because of TD's camping. Probably over there. Oh, but this guy over there. He looks juicy. Mm, I guess not. Nope. I guess he doesn't look juicy because um, RNG is... This time, sadly, not on our, um, on our um, side. Unfortunate, unfortunate. That's also, for example, a little bit of a problem. Even though I have, like, I don't know, a 30 uh, millisecond um, ping or 30 ping or 40 roughly, it, it, it fluctuates, obviously. Um, when I'm, for example, just moving over and shooting, the server-side reticle is still sometimes a little bit on the left-hand side, which leads to the um, shots going more likely to the left-hand side than where you actually properly aimed. Eh, come on. Can you please reload quicker? Oh, why we spotted him? We didn't got spotted ourselves. Interesting. Okay, uh, all the remaining people are up there. I'm not sure if I can try to get the RHM because I'm a little bit um, concerned about the Pantera to be... Okay, he died fairly quickly. Yeah, even you are the boy scouting. You are the scou boy scout. Now we actually don't have any gun elevation, so... Depending where he is standing... Now we should be able to. Now we should be able to. Ah, where is he? He probably... Nah, I don't think he's behind those rocks because otherwise he would be spotting me. No, actually he is. Those bushes over there are... They're, they're fairly weird, I feel like. Oh, there's a Lonson C as well. I should have reloaded. Ah, whatever. Oh, we got spotted. That's not good. That's actually not good. Mm, I don't think I will be able to get another shot off onto him because it's getting um, bursted down by all the other people in quick time anyway i do have to stay stay uh, safe though because of artillery and because of those people up there so we'll just stay here and see what we can do maybe we even can get one more shot off onto him i highly doubt it though because look we still have like 10 seconds real time and he is already in two shot range for all the people down there yep and he's dead now now um where should we go where should we go where should we go where should we can't come through i don't know how the song is going um oh there's a t77 we might actually be able to punish him Nah, it's too fast. Now yeah, well down, this thing is actually very speedy. It's very speedy, actually. I'm trying to go into the city more. Ooh. Ah, nice. Now we're making it safe as... Really? That time I want to do it as safe as possible. The arc uh, accuracy is screwing us over and yeah, artillery literally... That uh, that shot by the artillery may or may not have lost us the game, by the way. Uh, still reloading. Oh my god, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm the only one which can decap. I can, but I need reload time, okay buddy? It's all good, I can. Ah, 
Nice. Uh, he's probably over there, I think. That would be my guess, to be honest. Or is he? Is he maybe even... Oh, no, he's there. Did you just see how the, bo the tree fall fell down? He got um, lumberjacked. He's there. Please move to... Okay, I'm taking like this. Now we're taking our sweet ass time to aim in. Eh? Damn it. Unfortunate. And uh, this game could also be a loss, to be honest. I'm, I'm actually scared if I should pull back a little bit more because if the lobby is now pushing me, we are done for. The reload time is lengthy. But we were able to actually... Like, this is why usually you should always try to keep your gun in as long as possible. Especially autoloader guns. I guess this was just a perfect example. Look how much damage we just were able to push out of this game. I'm going to go for a reload. The Super Persian can still die, by the way, by the T-77. Just to point out. Requesting support. Hmm, I'm also one shot plus RT is still a thing. Like, the TIS T-77 in theory can win this game. He can still win this. If he now clips down the P Super Pershing. Uh, okay, no, nah, nah. Maybe already. Maybe already. Marty can still do this for him. But he's in a reload. I'm pretty s confident in saying that he's in a reload. Is already over there? Nah, I don't think so. Ah, uh, oh, okay, now nah, Artie's over there. Spare him for me, my minion! I wanna get another top gun! Gimme, gimme! Ah, the Pershing is also waiting. Gimme blocks. Oh, come on! Literally! Ah! I know everybody's um, susceptible to the same RNG, but come on, man! That was like four times this round we got screwed over by uh, accuracy RNG. Ah. Whatever, it was just there to pad our stats and wank ourselves off for having a better game than we would have before. Whatever. Um, I still take it. Five kills, um, 3,000 damage. And yeah, even did a little bit of blind shot with the T32. We did carry that game, I take it. He did a little bit better, actually. He got um, 700 free damage in the beginning of the game, so very well played by him. I didn't expect him that he was able to outspot me, actually. So, yeah. Um, 21, 2014. We were very unlucky, to be honest. If, like, I guess the shots on the Pantera, they were a little bit my mistake, but, mm, not that sure. The, the, the love is shot. Eh, I don't know. The shot on the 703. Eh, the side of him. Eh. Yeah, we were a little bit unlucky this game. We can't do much about that. But then again, we did more sniping than what this tank usually is better for. You can see he also did a lot more damage. Um, and he didn't snipe, like he went for a better strategy, I would say. It was just me not being too certain about how to play this tank. I'm pretty confident to say that it probably has a little bit more games in this tank than I do. And no, actually not. <laughs> me see me rambling and trying to justify him playing better than me. That shit happens. Yeah, but that's everything I'm having for you about this tank. Like, I'm, I'm still not confident in saying what is better. Is it hardening or is it Wentz? Personally speaking, I'll probably going towards Wentz because usually... I, I, I don't know if the hardening is making that big of a difference. Uh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. We could have, in theory, um, survived one more shot by the Lowe, Um Or Löwe, if you want to have the German pronunciation. But I'm not sure. Now, uh, after now four games, let's have a, just a quick little seeing on how we perform. Obviously, 100% win rate, we are lucky. 3,800 average damage is not going to stay. 2,500 will probably be the maximum we'll be able to achieve. But um, I do have to say that in those four games, I do feel the tank is fairly capable in good hands. If you know what you're doing and you're playing your cards right, even though you have a trash DPM, you still have a very big potential in damage output. Again, in four seconds, 1080 damage. That is not something you should laugh about. That is still enough to um, delete two thirds of the HP of basically any tier nine, uh, tier um, eight 
medium tank and some tier 8 heavy tanks. And it's still enough to delete half of the HP of a tier nine, me a tier ten medium, which is nothing again to to laugh about. It's something very. It's a real threat again in four seconds if you are in a close quarter engagement. Yeah, the question is, IRM is it necessary or not? I'm not sure about that one to be honest. I I do feel like the better accuracy on the move just makes this tank feel a little bit more um, usable and. Um, just better in general, you know. Hmm, yeah, I am not sure yet, but I do can say in those games I've played so far, it's not a tank where I have to say, God, is it bad? Or, like, the T-42 is okay, but it's not really my favorite, you know. It's it's okay, you can work with it. This tank, it does feel better. I, I do enjoy the gameplay of it. And for this game, we would have done 83,000 minus, uh, minus uh, 15, around 60,000, I would say. Yeah, I would have done around 60,000, which is all right for a premium tank. Um, but then again, in theory, we would have just made 40, 40 grand because we are using good old case of Coca-Cola. Hmm. Point is, should you try to get it from the boxes? No. Do not try to get him from the boxes. It's pure gambling, basically. It's pure RNG if you get it or not. I am not a big fan of the boxes, how they work and how they were implemented, to be honest. Um, especially with the reroll mechanic, because it just, again, it, it, it's literally this. Just one more try. Yes, now I, I, I had shit. Now I will get good stuff. You know, it's that behavior. And I really dislike that behavior. My guess would be just wait and see. This tank will be available in probably six months anyway, maybe even during Christmas, um, the advance calendar, you know, um, which would also roughly come into this uh, six month window. Obviously, it will be less, it will be like four, but you know, we're roughly around that. And I'm pretty sure that Wargaming wants to sell something more unique during the advance calendar. We'll see how this is going to go. But yeah. That's everything I'm having for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and let me know in the comment section below if there is anything I can do better or worse. Did you miss anything? Like, again, this is a first impression. This is not supposed to be a review. This is not supposed to be a 42 minute long review of a tank which I just played four games in. Just my personal first impression of this tank and um, to see how it is feeling in the first few games. It is very subjective, obviously, and it's not really properly like giving a whole view. Again, we have a 100% win rate. We didn't play it again tier 9s or tier 10s, but so far in tier 8s, it feels good. It's not going to be any good in Stronghold, I think. There's still Prochetto um, and Burrask will be much stronger. And speaking about the Burrask, I do think that this tank is a lot better balanced, even though it has a higher clip potential than the Burrask. Don't forget that the Burrask has um, around 900, uh, 300 to almost 400 more DPM, which is, so, uh, it's a lot, you know, it's not, it's something you have to keep in mind, especially if you have a crew in it. Yes, obviously now we are running the improved Wens in compared to here, just HP bows, but you can see it's around almost 400 which is quite a lot. Um, the Brask is a lot faster, it's a lot better view range. Uh, not a lot better, but it has 390 base view range and not 380. With the same amount of alpha, you know, even though it's a 390 alpha gun. I do think that in capable hands, the Brask is still a lot stronger. And even in less capable hands, it's a lot stronger. But meanwhile, this tank does need a little bit more thinking because either you have to use your okay mobility for a heavy tank to flank around then do your damage there or have a pretty decent aim and see what you can do there anyway this is now everything really this is now everything i wanted to talk about thank you so 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 much for watching again don't let me know in the comment section below what you liked and what you disliked about this video um don't forget to subscribe if you always want to be up to date with everything world of tanks and war thunder related thank you so much cheers and good luck on the battlefield and good luck in the loot boxes if you decide to buy them which i highly dis recommend or not recommend. Yeah.